All right, welcome. This is lesson one of the rudimental remedies total experience. We're going to go one, every, every exercise in the book. We're starting with lesson one, exercise one, tempo one. All right, so this is rebound strokes. I want everybody to get your sticks out. You need to have a pad. Make sure the pad is, a, is at a comfortable height, not too high, not too low, right? And in front of you. Okay, so, and, and relax your shoulders. Everybody do this. Put your arms down. Put your arms down by your side. And then I want you to lift them from the elbows and then put them here. And actually, I got to tell you, this pad is a little high for me. So I'm going to do what's right and take my time and lower the pad or lower my stand. That's because I got a practice pad and another practice pad on top of it my cajun practice pad all right so there that feels much better so once again lower it raise it from the elbows don't lift your upper arm you don't want to be doing this you don't want to lift your shoulders you want to keep that nice and relaxed right here all right and then we're going to start here stick up and play a rebound stroke boom we're going to return to this position you're just going to take your fingers fulcrum here the fulcrum is going to be between index finger and thumb for now. It could be, you could, if you want, you could put it here between index finger, I mean, uh, middle finger and thumb and throw it. It's actually more like that. It's kind of a three point fulcrum. And then take your pinky and throw the stick down and let it come back up to here, to this point. All right. So we're going to start with this first exercise. Uh, it's just quarter notes. So four right, four left. Two right, two left, right, left, right, left, and repeat. All right, so eventually, here's the idea. With every exercise, I want you, if you can't do it now, that's okay. Don't worry. This is the lesson. You're not supposed to be, do it perfect now. But if you, eventually, what you need to do is play every exercise perfect from the beginning of the track to the end of the track. If you can't play it perfect for the whole track, then you can't play it. That's the rule. That's called, that's actually in the front of the book. It's one, of, it's called Nathan's Rules. Because I had a student that I had as a guinea pig when I was writing the book. And he goes, well, I can play it. I said, yeah, well, you, you messed up the fourth time through. He goes, yeah, but I did it right three times. I said, uh, it doesn't count. You got lucky three times is what happened. Okay, so you got to be, be able to play the whole track. And then in the back of the book, you have your chart. Go to the chart. Like this is le uh, lesson one, exercise one, tempo one. In that box, you check it off, and then you move on, all right, to the next one, all right? But keep, stay organized. That's what the chart's for is so you can stay organized and you know what to need, you need to work on next. Okay, so here we go. Um, this is exercise one, lesson one, exercise one, tempo one. Let's give you a count off, two bars, sticks up, one. Two, ready, go. And like I said, the best thing is to watch me. That's four lefts, two rights, right, left, left, right, left, right, left. Notice there's no tension at all. This is just, I'm just throwing the stick, just like dribbling a, a ball. Right, left, right, left. Beginning, four rights, four lefts. You can bob your head, that, that helps. Tap your foot. I don't have my clutch on. So my hi-hat ain't working. Right, right, left, left, right, left, right, left. You see, I'm just throwing it down. Right, right, left, left, right, left, right. Left. Right, right, left, left, right, left, right, left, down. Okay. So that's tempo one. And this is the live thing. So we're going to go right on to tempo two. And, and you know, you might want to take notes. Take notes of what's... Uh, you know, um, what you're having problems, if you're having an issue with anything. 
and I need to do one thing real quick here. I just realized somebody wasn't here. It's supposed to be here. I know this is the recorded lesson, so bear with me. All right, so here's tempo two. Let's go on. Tempo two. Sticks up. Two, ready, go. I'm just going to do my left so I can keep. You could do this. If you want to just work on the left hand, if your left hand is weaker than your right, this actually, I'm doing this so I can work my mouse. <laughs> but this isn't a bad idea. If your left hand is weaker, just work the left hand. Or since you're on a pad, you can also do this. You can work both hands and make sure they're coming up at the same time, moving at the same speed, the same motion, coming up to the same height. This is a great exercise. So we can modify. But still, this is slow, you know, because I'm playing a big, full stroke. Let's let it come up. You can keep it smooth at this point, though. Right, left, right, left. Okay. I love that last chord. Boom. All right, so right, we're playing quarter notes, and this is fun. So that's the whole idea is these tracks make it fun and uh, make you want to practice. Like, I want to I wanna keep going, right? So we're going to keep going. Let's go to tempo three. So just a little faster. So what happens when we get faster? We bring our heights down. It's not harder, okay? Just got to get that in your head. If you're using the right technique and you're doing what I'm telling you, going faster is not harder. It's just faster. So something needs to change. We don't have as much time between notes. So really, logically, just don't play as high because you don't have as much time, so don't go as high. All right? Um, so here we go. Tempo three. Sticks up. Two. One, two. Ready, go. Right. And smooth. Suave como mantequilla. Smooth as butter. All right. Y'all were waiting for that one. Already used it. Again, if you want to use both hands, you can use both hands. Let me do that. Both hands here. I'm just working on rebound strokes. Really just technique. Relax your arms. Right, left, right, left, bump. Those tracks go by quick when we're when we speed them up, right? So that went. The first track was a, a minute twenty seven. That third track was only fifty six seconds. All right, so next one two one, which is lesson one, exercise number two, tempo number one, same technique. All right, we're gonna play with the same technique. In fact, go ahead and leave both hands up just like this. But now we have a different rhythm. One E N two and a three N. One E N two and a three N. One and a two and three E N. One E N two E N three E N a one. And you repeat it. Okay, so we're in three four means three beats to every measure, right? But it's just sixteenth notes. Stay nice and relaxed. We now we have some faster. Uh, strokes, I mean, it's faster rhythm, 16th notes, as well as 8th notes. So when you play the 16th notes, you got to stay even lower. So remember, there's less space between notes, just get a little lower. It's not less um, intensity, just, just less height. All right, so beware of that. Again, I'm saying all these words, blah, 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 blah. The best thing to do is watch me and just do as I do. Try to imitate my motion. All right, try to imitate the stick motion, the hand, the arm, everything. All right, just try to imitate that motion. If you can do that, you, uh, you're you going to learn a lot. Um, you know, I'll, I'll tell this story 
again, some of you have heard it, but you know, my, my teacher, one of my teachers, Marty Hurley, where I learned a lot of the most of my rudimental drumming stuff from, um, I remember, you know, we had lots of lessons and I remember he said a lot of stuff and a lot of it stuck. A lot of it I remember, but what I remember most is every time he played a drum that is like embedded in my brain, you know, watching him play and going, Whoa, Oh, okay. So that's how you do it. Whoa. Okay. I'm going to try to imitate that. So that's, what's most important. That's, you know, uh, leaves the biggest impression. So don't forget to watch. Okay, get the music. What I want you to do with every exercise is memorize it and then play it. All right. So memorize these exercises and, and then get them. So you're not distracted by reading. You can watch me or you can watch yourself. I, I also suggest you video yourself. But let's go. Here goes uh, exercise number two. Sticks up. One, two, three, and two, two, and three, and. Sorry, it's clicked off. Left hand. I made a mistake. Beginning. One. Okay. Right, da, 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 left, da, da, da. Right, 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 left, 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 right, right, left, left. One E and two and a three and. One E and two and a three and. One and a two and three E and. One E and two E and three E and a one E and two. If you have to, just listen to me play it a few times. If you're not getting the counts. And then play it. So if that rhythm was complicated, more co it was obviously more complicated than the first exercise, but just listen. A lot of times you just need to listen and then try it. I know we all want to play. Here's the tendency is I, I got sticks, I got a pad, I want to play some notes, all right? We all want to get to it and we want to be good right away. And it just doesn't work that way. I wish it did. But then again, we'd everybody be good, right? Then who could we compare it to? All right, so sometimes you just need to uh, watch and listen and then play. Okay. And I just saw a post come up from AP News. I guess they just declared Biden president. So a historic moment right here on Rudimental Remedies. Total. This is a total experience. You even hear about the presence. Exactly. <laughs> right? Exactly. That's so cool. All right. Uh, all right. So let's go to tempo two. Same exercise. Sticks up. Three. One and two and three and. One E and two and a three and. One E and two and a three and. One and a two and three E and. One E and two E and. Again, if, one e, if you if you want to work on your left hand, or both, this is a little fast. Now I'm tapping my left foot. A little 
little lower. Stay low. Okay, so that one's a lot faster. That's really, really not a beginner tempo. So if you're struggling with that one, don't feel bad. But I think you can get there. All you got to do is play a little lower, all right? And tapping your foot to that in three might be a challenge as well. But I want you to get there, all right? If you don't know where the downbeats are, really, it's, it's not useful. This isn't practical. You're not, it's not functional until you know where the downbeat is, okay? So make sure you get to that point on everything. All right, let's go on. Uh, we're going on to two, lesson two, exercise number one. So turn the page. All right, now we have control strokes, taps, and upstrokes. So we have all, we have four strokes. There's five of them that we're going to use, but these are the most important ones. The fifth one is just a buzz or press, a press stroke. All right, so we have every stroke is defined by what follows it. If you have two accents in a row, the first one's going to be a rebound or a full stroke. The second one, in this case, is going to be a controlled stroke because I want to stop the stick right there, right above the pad. So the first two strokes are rebound and then a controlled stroke. All right. So we're going to play the third measure slowly, just the third measure, where you have accent, accent, tap, tap. So too loud, too soft. Now... Everything is defined by what follows it. So the first one is an accent followed by an accent. So what you want to do is this, a, a rebound stroke, just like we just did. Boom. One. Second one is an accent followed by a tap. So in order to be in the right place, i got to squeeze the stick, hold it right there, like an inch above the pad, and that now I'm ready for my tap. The third one is a tap followed by another tap. So I want to play it soft and leave it there. Just drop it. Just relax. Just drop the stick. That's a tap. All right. And the fourth one is an upstroke because it's a soft note followed by a loud note. All right. So there, this is a tricky one. You're going to bend the wrist and drop the stick at the same time like this. Imagine you have a string tied. Boom. That's your upstroke. Boom. And then you lift the stick and now you're in position. So here's the full stroke. Not the full stroke, but the full upstroke. <laughs> Sorry. Semantics can be confusing, but here, just like this. So I go, I drop it and lift, okay? And this is going to give you a ton of speed plus clarity on the taps. So these really important strokes to really make sure you, you're playing with clarity and speed is the controlled stroke and holding it down. Well, they're all important, but these are the ones that we tend to have to work on the most. Control stroke right there and then the upstroke right here. All right, and I'm realizing this lesson is going to be long. This lesson is going to be longer than most because I'm having to explain all this stuff. And later on, this is already done. We can move on. All right, so let's go. Uh, this is lesson two, exercise one, tempo one. Drum line backing tracks. Okay, start right here. One, two, ready, and play. If you want... Watch me first. Don't get confused by the tenor drum part. They got a separate part. Three and, oops, I hit the mic. One and two and three and four. Left hand. One and two and three and four and one and two, three and four. Up. So if you, I'll tell you, let me, when we get to the right hand, what I'm thinking for each stroke. Bounce, squeeze, relax. Up, bounce, squeeze, relax. Up, bounce, squeeze, relax. Up, bounce, squeeze, relax. Up, bounce, 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 squeeze. Bounce, squeeze, relax. Up, bounce, squeeze, relax. Look how soft these taps are. Up, bounce, squeeze, relax. Up, bounce, squeeze, relax. Up, bounce, 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 squeeze. Bounce, squeeze, relax. Up, bounce, squeeze, relax. Up, bounce, squeeze, relax, up, bounce, squeeze, relax, up. Alright? If you can, tap your foot. 
Got it going. One, one, and then sticks in on two because there's a drum line track. All right. Let me turn the track down a notch. Yeah, turn, tra turn the track down just a little bit. Okay, so this is, now we're going to go to tempo two. All right, you might need to work on tempo one for a while, but we're going to move on to tempo two for the lesson. So if that's the case and you're, and you're watching this, uh, you can hit pause, work on tempo one, get it down. When you're done, turn it back on. Let's go to tempo two. Here we go. Same thing. Here we go. One, two, tap your foot, go. Bounce, squeeze, up. Bounce, squeeze, relax. Up. Bounce, squeeze, relax. Up. Bounce, squeeze, relax. So my stick heights are much lower for the accents. I'm a lot lower. Still pretty high, but lower than before. Bounce, bounce, bounce. I think I turned it up. Here we go. Bounce, squeeze, relax. Up. Bounce, squeeze, relax. Up. Bounce, squeeze, relax. Up. Bounce, squeeze, relax. Bounce, 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 squeeze. Bounce, squeeze, relax. Up. Oops. I threw an extra action in there. in on two. Yeah. Can't get that mic right on that pad so you can hear me. You should hear me. All right, so we're going on. What? Not there. It's okay, extra, uh, lesson three. Let's go on to lesson three. Boom, moving on. This is tempo, exercise number one, tempo one. And then we're going to do tempo two. So here we go. This is all... Rebound strokes. So lesson three is, is single stroke rolls. These are all rebound strokes. Uh, one and two E and three E and four E and and then it goes to the left hand. One and two E and three E and four E and and then the second measure. One E and a two and a three E and four E and left hand and a three E and four E and. Okay, that's probably a little faster than tempo one. So once again. If you need to, just watch me play it a couple of times and then jump in. All right, here we go. Try to count it, too. Count it like I'm counting it. One and two and three and four and one and two e and three e and four e and one and two e and four e and one e and a two and a three e and four e and one e and a two. Sticks up. One e and a two and a two. All right. And the important thing is to stay relaxed. Just throw the sticks.
Okay, so that might have been a little fast. That, that tempo one is maybe, maybe that was a little fast for beginner tempo. So if you couldn't do it, don't feel bad. Remember, tempo slow. Get the app and then put that in there and you can slow it down a little bit. And then, so these are the, and then also watch me. If you can't do it right away, don't struggle. Just watch me do it a few times and then, and then jump in as you get it. You might need to break it down, you know, just doing two bars at a time like that. You might need to break it down and slow it down. All right, so let's go into tempo two. With that said, if you're watching this video and you struggled with that one, stop. Pause the video. Get the track. Play it over and over till you can play it perfect. Then put the video back on. Let's go to tempo two. Sticks up. One, two, ready, and one and two and three. Much lower. dance. I got to remind myself about posture. Sit up straight. So yeah, I was talking to my talking to myself because I felt myself slouching. Make sure you sit up straight. This is really good for your, your playing and relax, okay? Because when you slouch, you do stress. That brings stress. So sit up straight. Um, let's see. That was three, one, two. Next is four, one, one. Okay. So we're gonna get into some buzz roll action. All right. I might take my pad off and do this on the snare drum. If you want, you can do it on a pad. It's okay. But let me do it on the drum. I'm going to turn that way down, and uh, I'm going to do this on the drum with a different pair of sticks. You can do it with marching sticks. You should practice it with both. I mean, I have to practice this on a big drum, too. But right now, I'm on a little drum. Right? Okay, so this is exercise, this lesson four, exercise number one, tempo one. And all we're trying to do is get a nice buzz out of each stroke. So first, they're eighth notes, so those are kind of short, but when you get into the third and fourth measure, you have quarter notes, so one and. In fact, I'll play back here so you can see. I want, I want, to sh I want to, those to bounce as long as possible and get a nice bzzz out of that, okay? So that's going to help us with our buzzer. Uh, less, lesson four, exercise number one. Lesson four, exercise number one, tempo one. Here we go. Again, if you have to, watch me first. One, two, ready, and play, and... Left, right, left, right, left. Right, 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 right. Buzz, 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 buzz. Buzz, 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 buzz. Right, left. If you just, if you're, if you're a beginner, you might be buzzing some of the uh, the eighth notes that aren't supposed to be buzzed. So that's, we'll make sure that's a, 
well defined. And off center. So I get a nice sustain. Use your fingers. Try to get your pinky involved. We're going to go on to level to X to tempo two, but try to use all your fingers. Try to get that pinky involved to press the stick into the head. I'm playing off center because the center is the driest part of any drum head. That's where the, it's a node right there. So off center, you get a little more ringing. You get some overtones. And of course, when we play a buzz roll, the whole, the whole idea is to sustain. So that's why we want those overtones when we play in a buzz roll. So play, you can play off center or even near the edge if you like. Okay, so let's go on to tempo two. Here we go. Two, and you can drag the stick a little bit on the long ones too. See how I drag it? Wrong hand. It's okay if you open your grip up a little bit. Here, sit. Nice cymbal crash. Right, 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 left, 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 right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, 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 left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, 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 right. Buzz roll, come on. How's your buzz roll sound? Okay. All right, so that's the buzz roll. Let me set this back up. And then we're going to go on to lesson five, number one. Just two more exercises, and then it's your turn. All right, so real quick, we're going to go into paradiddles. All right, this is just a continuation of lesson two because it's the same strokes, but we're gonna use it on paradiddles. This is really, well, it's our second, we did single stroke rolls, actually in buzz rolls, it's our third rudiment. Okay, so paradiddles. So start with your right hand up, you're gonna play a control stroke, and the next stroke is an up stroke. So let's do this, one and. Okay, so right hand up, you're gonna play a control stroke, that's gonna stop right there, and then an up stroke with the left hand, you're gonna stop here. Everybody together. One, two, ready, go. One and. Okay, here we are. Now do the left hand. Control stroke with the left hand, up stroke with the right hand. Two, ready, go. One and. And you're here. All right, so now let's do it every four counts. Ready, go. One and two, ready, go. One and two, ready, go. One and two, ready, go. One and two. Now, when we do the exercise, we're doing it every two counts, and then we're going to add the next two taps for the paradiddle. All right? Let's see. So this is lesson five, exercise number one, tempo one.
Here we go. Right hand up. One, two, ready, go. One and two, ready. Oh, sorry, I did that wrong. Left. Now here you go. Right, left, right, right, left. Let's do a do over. See, even Dr. Throwdown needs a do over. So don't worry if you mess up right away. I was doing what I was showing you and I didn't do the exercise. You need to do a do over. And that's okay. Here we go. Do over. Be ready. Here we go. One, two. If you need to, just watch. One and two, three and four, and one and two and three. Bring it up. And then the pair did. Then you add the taps. Okay, what's important is this motion. This floating up and then and then holding it down. That's the most important part. This motion. See my upstroke? Fluidly. One and two and three and that fluidness is is, is what is gonna get you speed later. If you're stiff, you're only gonna get it so fast. And left, right, right, left. Left, right, right. Now you're gonna have to work on this to get this motion really uh, down pat. Left and left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left. This is turning to be a, a long lesson. I promise the, the others won't be this long. Right, left, left, right, right, left. So squeeze up, squeeze up, relax. Squeeze up, relax. Squeeze up, relax. Squeeze up, relax. Right, left, this, and this is a long track, but go all the way through. Let's work on this motion. Here we go. Last time, left, right, left, left, boom. All right, long track. Make sure we, you relax and watch the motion. That motion is so important. We're talking about, you remember the lesson two, those, the, the uh, strokes, how important that is. Just keep it low and then on the lift. But now we got the hands going simultaneously. You got a lot to think about. All right. Uh, next one is the same exercise, and but at tempo two. So same thing, but a little faster. Just bring your heights down a little lower. That's the only difference, that and the tempo, right? So here we go. Tempo two. Here we go. Start with your right hand up two. Ready, go. Right, left, left, right. Right, left, left. Try to match my motion. If you need to watch me while you... You know, first, do that. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, You can tap your foot on quarter notes or half notes. So here's a quarter note. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, or half notes. Right, left. Stop that control stroke. Make sure the stick is pointing down slight, slightly. You don't want to do this. Watch. I'm going to do it wrong. Watch. See how I'm not, my taps are all really high. And so right here, now I'm keeping it low. After every accent, I'm squeezing the stick to keep it low. If I don't squeeze the stick, this is what happens. Okay, I'm out. All right, so learn from my mistakes. All right, so that's it. That's the lesson. That's the first one of the Rudimental Remedies Total Experience lesson. That's the end of that one. Now we're going to, you guys, we're going to get some questions. So, work on everything. If you need to slow anything down, go back. 
and revisit any of this, do that before you go on to the next lesson. If you need to get tempo slow-mo and slow it down some more, I highly suggest that as well. Do what you have to do as an individual to get this down. It might take a while, okay? But I'm, I guarantee you, you're going to, every now and then, you're going to feel like you crossed a threshold. You're, you're just moving, moving, moving closer to, to throwing it down. Okay, so that's it. And uh, we're going to go to questions. See you on the next video.